I've got all of these bottles in front of me because I'm going to try and work out which one of these makes the best speaker and that is using this, the Soda Pop. So hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and welcome back to another episode of Studio Reviews. Truth be told, I've had this for a very long time, sitting in a box in a corner, because I did actually take a look at this a few months back on an unboxing video. I'd say it's not the clearest in the world, but I'm listening to it from a bottle. I really, really like the design of this. I don't think it's gonna be the best sound in the world, but I tell you what, I'm really interested to find out how other bottles affect the sound of this. So, Watch this space for a review. Talking about unboxings, the thing that's prompted me to do this video has been Lou at Unbox Therapy. He did a video on these very, very recently, and all he tested out was a Coke bottle and a Sprite bottle, and apparently he favoured the Sprite bottle quite a lot. This isn't the only device that turns a bottle into a speaker. He did take a look at another brand, which he tested a bunch of different bottles on to work out whether glass or bigger or smaller was better, but he didn't do it with the soda pop. So I thought I would take that mantle and do it for you. There is one last bottle, which I'm gonna test, and of course you've probably already guessed what it's gonna be by all of the whiskey behind me. I'm gonna use Laphroaig Four Oak. Now actually, this is a bit of a special bottle because it's a one liter bottle of whiskey, which is empty and inside my body. So, its own integrated bottle type thing. Let's get it out, let's listen to that and see what it sounds like straight out of the packet. This is probably one of the more unusual gadgets I've ever had on the channel. Its primary function is to turn your drinks bottle into a speaker by screwing onto the top and throwing the base downward into the bottle, which causes the walls of the bottle to act as a passive membrane. This all sounds a little technical, so to summarize, big bottles mean big boom. It connects via Bluetooth or AUX and offers up to 30 hours of playtime, and it can screw onto any standard size bottle top, which means there's a ridiculous amount of options for your bass chamber out there. This thing is without a doubt a rather unusual looking speaker that even fits into its own bottle for carrying. Nope, nope, broken it already. And screw the lid. Now in theory, this one is supposed to be obviously designed for it. You've kind of got a standard sort of base aperture at the bottom type thing uh, and a few other bits and bobs inside it possibly to make it sound a little bit better but let's find out how this sounds and see if any of the other bottles come out on top now i'm going to listen to the same song all the way through this i'm just going to pause the song and continue on playing and i'm going to start playing at about 75 percent volume on all of them so let's go with this one <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, it's pretty good. It's a bottle. And that's the sound coming from the thing that comes with it. You can quite clearly hear the difference. All right. Very good, I like that. That's a good one. Obviously it's gonna work very, very well because that is, whoop, whoop, because that is designed to work with the soda pop. So I'm gonna say that's a pretty good option. Right, I'm not gonna go straight in for this. I'm praying that my whiskey bottle will do the best, but I don't know, because it's glass. Let's move on to another design, a similar sort of capacity, maybe, I don't know. This one is Co-op's Sparkling Raspberry Lemonade. Now, if you're not from the UK, Corp is a just a standard supermarket, basically. It's your own brand. Right, let's listen to this. It's an unusual shape. Okay, it's a bit sharper, the sound. Okay, the shape and size of this has made quite a big difference because that does sound a bit sharper. Do I prefer this? I don't think so. All right, let's try the classic Coke. Mm. 
No, I wasn't that a fan of the Coke. I think I prefer the Co-op lemonade. Let's go with the Ribena. Again, another odd shaped bottle here. I don't know if this is gonna actually fit. No, it's not gonna fit. It won't even sort of rest on the top there. Oh, that's disappointing, because I love Ribena. Brecken Carreg, which is the local freshwater spring near me. Unusual design again, triangular. <laughs> Again, it's got a little bit of a sharpness to it. I think maybe these ones that have this kind of immediate triangular shape aren't as good. This one's a bit kind of wider at the top. Let's try the slightly bigger bottles. We've got the Brecken Carreg 1.5 litre now. This should be a bit better. That has definitely given it a juicier sound, without a doubt. Okay, let's try an even bigger bottle here. We've got a two litre bottle. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh that's a really nice sound. Okay. That has been the best so far, that two litre bottle. This is a co-op cherry aid, but it's the same shape as a regular two litre bottle of Coke. And as well, actually, it sort of mirrors this a lot more than any of the others we've tried. <laughs> Don't know which one sounds better out of those two. But these two are definitely winning so far. That is probably because they are the biggest. Right, I've got one more to try and I've got super high hopes for this one. Well, I can smell whiskey. It's got an unusual sound. Really strange sound that's right. Have a listen. Oh, unfortunately, I don't think it's my favourite. I definitely think it's got an unusual sound, but the fact you can't screw it on kind of turns me off it a little bit because if you are at a party, then that makes it much less stable and secure. So, sorry for it. That's going to have to go down there. And I'm going to have to get these two back. Let's move on to a different song. So a cherry aim playing now. Natural mineral water. Well, I think I know which one my favourite is. So I'm saying goodbye to the regular two litre bottle, which you'll find in Coke, in lemonade, in cherry aid from Co-op. And I'm going to say hello to this style bottle, the Co-op mineral water now i think you can probably get things like evian is a very similar sort of style possibly some of the lemonades out there but this kind of shape here it's got a bit of texture on the outside coming up to a sharp point without a doubt sounds the best but that's my own opinion i think if i was at a party this is the sort of one i'd choose but then again to be honest it probably doesn't matter because if you're at a party the fact that you're playing music from a speaker is going to draw eyes no matter what. To conclude my opinion on the sound before I play a few seconds on each bottle one more time to see which one your favourite is, I think it's okay. It's not bad. I mean, it's playing music from a bottle, which is a bit strange. It definitely has a much better effect on a larger bottle because that bass is louder, it's resonating inside the chamber much more than something like a smaller bottle. But actually, the small ones don't do too bad. I think at the end of the day, it's a bit of a novelty item that doesn't sound too bad. And that's the key thing you need to remember here. It's not a professional piece of audio, but 
at parties, it will definitely, definitely turn heads because you're walking around playing music from a drinks bottle and that is gonna get some questions asked. Whether or not you'll be thrown out of the party, I don't know. But I think if I took it to a party, people would be like, what the hell is that? And it'll get all the girls, all the boys. It's 2020, you can get whoever you want with this speaker. They should have used that in the advertising. Anyway, the cost of this is £49, which I think isn't actually that bad for a speaker, especially one of this size. And the fact I can make that sound bigger and better and louder by attaching it to bigger bottles, it makes it an interesting gadget. But for me, I think it's no more than a bit of a fun novelty gadget. Maybe not even a novelty gadget, just a gadget you wouldn't really use that often. Or potentially just me, because I don't really go to that many house parties and I've got a wife, so I don't need to get any girls. Or I can't, because she'd kill me. I think that... Maybe if you're someone younger, with a younger audience, and you want to impress people and get people turning their heads and going, what is that? Then this will grab people's attention. It's good sound. It's not the best sound, but it's playing from a bottle. And I think that pretty much concludes the soda pop. Now, obviously, this is quite difficult for you sitting at home, and obviously everything you've heard today has been recorded on this. The Yeti Blue mic sat just off the desk but I would love to know which one of these was your favorites. So I'm gonna play about three seconds of sound coming from each one one more time. And then if you can let me know in the comments below, it'd be really interesting to find out which one was your favorite. So starting with the Coca-Cola. The Brecken Carrig Large Bottle. The Laphroaig Oak. The Normal One. The Co-op Large Mineral Water. The Co-op Raspberry Lemonade. The Large Big Boy Cherryade. Or the Tiny Brecken Kerrig. That is all of them one more time. So like I said, let me know in the comments below which one of these was your favorite. But other than that, a massive shout out to all my current subscribers. Thank you very much for coming back. And if you liked today's video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and that notification bell if you want to see more stuff. I've got loads of cool reviews coming up, but I can't tell you too much about it now. But hit that notification bell and you'll be the first to find out when those drop. And as well, a massive thanks to all my current patrons. As always, I couldn't do Stu's reviews without your help, so thank you very much for being a patron. And if you want to be a patron, head on over there. I'll leave a link in the description to it. But I think that's it from me and the Soda Pop speaker. Thank you very much for coming. I'll see you back for another episode of Stu's Reviews soon.